Hey guys, welcome back, and it is new series time. We're playing XCOM Enemy Unknown. Uh, we've been playing Kerbal for... Oh, God, what's that? An alien. Uh, we've been playing Kerbal for a little bit, and I noticed that I've got stuck in a little bit of a Kerbal rut. So I think it's time we got out and did some more stuff. And what, what better than going out and killing the aliens we've been putting into launch recently? Uh, so, yeah, I've gone through the options. I don't think there's anything we want to train, so let's just hit the single player. Oh, God, what difficulty are we going to pick? Well, blatantly normal. I'm not up for that easy stuff, and I don't want to be, be all embarrassed by messing up on the classic. Uh, I have no idea what the second way... Yes, we'll have the tutorial second way. What's this? Oh, well. Hello. Advanced options that we will play with at a later date if we do badly at this or something. I don't know. Let's roll! Adjacent workshops provide a uh, rebate of resources, expanding engineering. Several adjacent workshops can vastly improve your engineering's efficiency. Well, that's, that's nice. Two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe, or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. It's quite a quite a famous quote there. Um, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure you guys know about it. I do. Whoa, fireballs! Oh, that guy was lucky. And I'm fairly sure if a lump of rock that big came down that close and hit the floor next to someone. That would probably be the end of that person. I, I might be wrong there, who knows. Look, did these guys not watch War of the Worlds? When something falls out of the sky, you don't crowd around it. Especially when it glows green. It's just all over. It's all over for these people. Don't touch it! Ugh, he's got this horrible mucus goo all over you now. Ah. So, uh, what I'm getting from this is terror. People are afraid of the meteorites. It's quite a, quite a strong snot, really, isn't it? It can drag people in. Um, I mean, I know I have quite strong nasal passages, but I don't think I can do that. I don't know, can I? Yeah. Give it a go. Wow, this intro's long. Well, so we've been looking through security cameras, I'm guessing. Virgilo Confidento. Hello, Commander. Hi. Thank you. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. Woo, that's me. You have been chosen to lead this initiative. <laughs> that's all over. To oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Alright, I'll, I'll bear that in mind, no problem. I'm a little bit concerned that I'm the first and only line of defense. That is bad planning right there. Good luck, Commander. Th thank you. Thank you. But still, I'd, I'd like some backup. <laughs> I don't mind being the first line of defense as long as there is a second line somewhere along the line. That was the last transmission, sir. Patch me through to Voodoo 3-1. You're not telling me that's me. That That is not me. Look how boring he looks. Oh, hello. Uh, we are loading a mission. Operation Devil's Moon. We are going to Berlin. Uh, always flank enemies. To Germany. Oh. At 1900 hours Zulu, several unidentified objects fell to Earth. After ruling out the possibility of a downed satellite, we now believe these objects to be extraterrestrial in nature. No. Shortly after impact, German officials received reports of mass hysteria and freak weather around one of the impact zones. Freak then weather. things went dark. At 2100 hours, a chopper carrying a German military recon team went down in the area after they reported being fired upon. As you know, Germany Why is, he is a member of the council, yeah. and they have requested our assistance. Suspicious hand actions going our on there, probably. to assess the situation on the ground, ascertain the current status of the German recon team, and investigate the extraterrestrial objects. Central out. All right, Central. Well, let's let's do this. Uh, I am ready to engage. Launch the mission. Okay, so I've not played XCOM since like back in the day. Roger, Voodoo three one. Any sign of activity? Negative. Nothing's moving down there. And this is a lot slicker than that was. Like a lot slicker than that was. I remember the original XCOM games back in like. I don't know, I was young. I was very young. 
nice little VTOL action there. Everyone loves a VTOL and some folding wings. Mm. So let's have it then. Wow. Geez, is this game more cutscene than actual fighting or something? And just once, it'd be really, really nice if we could land in nice sunny weather. I mean, why do all these aliens decide to land in like the worst weather possible? Central, you getting all this? Copy that, Delta Squad. First things first, let's get you out of the open and into cover. Whatever did this could still be out there. Delta One, take point. Take cover behind that debris directly in front of you. This, this, this cover here. Use the mouse to select the highlighted position and use the right mouse button to move. Okay, right, ma right mouse button to move, we can do this. Now what? We'll do them all? A soldier can move up to, two uh, up to two times per turn. Number of remaining moves is indicated by the soldier's unit flag, which I believe is this one here. Okay, we can do that. Good. Or is that this now one? Now advance to the vehicle nearby. Go, 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 go. Hut, hut. Delta 2, your turn. Move up to the debris. Uh, a holding right mouse button will show you move all movement possibilities. Uh, so like all the way around there. Okay, well let's go there. That thing isn't going to offer you much cover, but it's better than nothing. There's full cover straight ahead. Advance to that position. Uh, okay, Delta so we three. look for... Move to that vehicle dead ahead. So we look for the... Uh, the, the have movement. Uh, 30 meters north of my position. Police vehicle. Roger. Proceed to the next vehicle for a better vantage point. Well, can't I you can't I pull this one up? I mean like what's what's going on? I mean I know tutorial levels, they're very go check it out. It's a long way from your position, and there's no available cover between here and there, so you better double time it. How do I dash? Dashing! Woo! Oh, what cutscene? Holy hell. What do I see? Report. Put him down. Put him down! Looks like one of the recon teams, sir. It looks like Something. Is that your man, Delta Four? Negative, sir. That's someone else. Well, come on then. Let's do it. It's coming Dr. from the Bowen. ship. What's he saying? He is saying, "Help me." That radio transmission is coming from somewhere north of the squad's current position, based on its strength. Probably from inside a structure. Thank you, Doctor. Delta, advance and infiltrate that building. And remember, stay in cover. A soldier may cover long distances by dashing. This will consume both of the moves. And then this, uh, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, um, how do we zoom out, move the map? Ah, oh, we used the, the, the arrow, uh, not arrow keys, the Wasad. We use Wasad to move. Okay, so covering up's pretty good. That's the end of his go, right? You told me it's the end of his go. Okay, so who have we got next? Ah, oh, so I kind of like being told what to do, but I'd rather. A lot of blood here. Roger. See where it's coming from. Is there is there a turn map? A Q and E doesn't do anything. Let's just try going over there. Central. I think I just found another one of the recon team. Wow, he's been opened Almost up. What's left of him? This doesn't make sense. Looks like he's been dead for a week. Even more perplexing is the cause of death. It appears that he was eviscerated when something burst out of him from the inside. Uh. Sir, I have visual on the object. Permission to approach. It's the only cover between you and that building. Permission granted. So I'm fairly sure I saw something. There, look, look. This thing moving around. Oh, okay, so it's just... Uh, just rags and stuff, that's alright. Uh, I just thought, maybe, maybe we're getting snuck up on by aliens from behind. What is it? I got no idea what this thing is. It's a spaceship. That it's no satellite. We, we know it's Roger. a spaceship, look at it. Alright Delta Squad, you're mm. almost to the building. Keep moving. Okay, let's dash. Go, 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 go! Hut, hut! Okay, yeah, no, this people. is good. Now let's get inside. Okay, Delta so where's the one, door? There's a window in front of you. I want you to Let's door. take a look. Um, so if I go up and have a look, let's, let's go there and then we can pit, hopefully poke our hole, head through the in wall, position. I don't know. Looks clear. Copy that. Get now, in there and get to cover. Many times in the past people have told me that things look clear and the problem with things looking clear is that people can hide in places. Um, now I've got a double move so let's just carry on through. Can I jump through the window? Oh, badass man, badass. That door's in our way. Take it down. 
Oh. Solid copy. Can he just dash through? Can we can we show the barge? Yeah. I don't know what it is about games involving soldiers that made me go hut, 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 hut. But there we go, that's what happens. Oh look, he's got a little face on his on his shoulder. That's great. Oh. Uh, kill him. Central, we have eyes on the target. He's armed. Copy Delta 3. Okay, everyone. Get into position nearby. But do not approach. No. Can I not See take him down? Communicate with him. Tell can him I to not drop take him down? his weapon. I will try. I really want to go Hello. there, but that's Können not where they want me to go. We are sent here um ihnen zu helfen. Bitte lassen Sie Ihre Waffen fallen. Oh, he appears to be in shock. Sound, Keep your eyes open, good. people. I don't like the looks of this. So how how close? So I get that the whole of this tutorial is teaching us to move up in in like a wave formation, get a little bit closer, a little bit closer without actually breaking cover. Like I, I get that, but are they going to teach me anything else in this tutorial? Like at any point ever? Like all I'm doing is Delta running three. forwards. Move in and disarm him carefully. Well, I'm going to get uh, what here. You reckon here? See, now I would have wanted to go here, but okay. If you reckon we can go there, let's do that. I know. I reckon he's going to try and blow us up. I mean, he's got a grenade in his hand, and, and we've not seen his face yet. All sorts of horrible things going to happen. Though he does look like Walter White. Well, he's got some slime on his shoulder. No, we're all good. Oh my god, what happened to your face? What did happen? Oh. It's a grey! Quill! Quick, get him! Oh! Yeah, and all those things. Uh, so, they killed one of my players straight off. What, what's the deal with that? Can he shoot? Oh. No, don't. Am I going to lose all my people? Delta One is down. Am I actually going to lose all my people here because they? What? Central, we're taking fire for multiple X-rays. This guy's got me pinned down, taking heavy fire. Yeah, and all these things. Can Delta I run away? Two, your flank too. Find some better cover. <coughs> Where, where's the best place to get covered? You reckon? Well, I oh, I was going to go backwards, but he reckons this way is the best way to go. All right, Delta Two, weapons free. Press get Enter to, to activate. Ta uh, Tactical or this. So what do we do? Select uh, fire using this one and this one. No, this one and this one. So what happens if we do this? Hunker down, fire, Overwatch. Overwatch is good, but it's not so great for now. Okay, so we're looking for a fire. Option. This, this is good. 84% hit chance. Let's do it. Uh, enter fire. A lot of different buttons being used here. Yeah. Take that, alien scum! Shot. Delta Four, you're freed up to move. Get out of there and get into cover. Well, then let's go this way if we're getting out. I mean, but no, no, no. We need to go shoot some aliens. Now toss your grenade at the enemy in front of you. So we go in here. No. Press. No. It's not not going to let me do that, is it? Okay. That's a shame. There we go. So I've got to click actually on top of the actual um, bad guy. I'm not allowed to just click around and go I want to enter tactical mode okay so this this looks like a good place for a, a frag grenade let's do it no target over the enemy and press the button why oh no press the wrong button I pressed other buttons so there it's got a red square oh, I don't know the alien seems to be hidden in a place different from where it's in oh well killed him Look out, Delta Four. There's another one coming in behind you. Ha! Ha! Damn it. It's just you now, Delta Two. Let's tip the odds in our favor. Look yeah, around let's... for a position where you can flank the enemy. So I just tried to rotate the camera a little second ago, and it really wouldn't let me have it, and now it does. I hate tutorial levels. They literally just, like, hamstring That's you until it. the right fight. You have a clear shot from that position. Do I? Fire. Do I really? Let's try spinning the camera around so we can see what's going on. So we want to fire on this guy, do we? We're literally just going to fire. Shoot him in the face. God, have him. Ah. Job done. Awesome. Good work, Delta. Are you Delta 2? I think that's it. It's over. I placed quite a lot of money on him being the American. Um, Roger that, Delta. Secure the bodies and head back to the Sky Ranger for immediate extraction. 
Spire Axis, an American company. I can't remember. I can't remember. Well, that was fun. That that was the uh, the tutorial levels, and now we've got some sort of panning mode of coming in. Oh, where are we going to have our base location? Well, I like Europe. I live here. I think it's great. Europe is definitely the place I prefer. I mean, America. It's just for the crazy people, really, isn't it? I mean, I, I think it is anyway, and I'm sure a lot of the people watching this will agree with me. So let's confirm that Europe is the place. We're coming home. I noticed I wasn't allowed to choose Asia or anywhere like that. That's a little bit annoying. There's obviously a Western title if we can only choose America or Europe first. So, Delta 2, how do you feel about coming back after all your crew's been slaughtered? No? No, we're just going to pan off to someone else. I don't know. All these American military guys always shying away from the big questions, eh? Whatever they are, they nearly took out a squad of our best soldiers. If you'll excuse me, doctors, the commander is waiting in mission control. Am I? Their technology is far beyond ours. Then I'd say our work is cut out for us, doctor. Charles. But I want one of those green guns. Wow, did you see how they exploded Welcome my face? Welcome to XCOM HQ, commander. Thank you. I'm Central Officer Bradford. I'm glad you're My role me. in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. Hey! I'll get to it. It's my favorite part of this job, going to promote people. Well done, Delta Two. I, from now on, I shall call you Number Two. <laughs> no. Commander to the barracks. Commander to the barracks. Okay, so where are the barracks? Uh, well, we've got a nice big exclamation mark here, but I'd also like to see... Like, just just have a look around. I can't, I'm not allowed to do anything. Ah. Well, once again, the, uh, the, the tyranny of the tutorial level has come and struck me, and I'm not allowed to do anything other than what it tells me I'm allowed to do. So let's do the barracks then. Commander, the soldier is waiting for you in the armory, which is located there in the barracks. Which one do you reckon the armory? I don't know. Let's just do the soldiers. Um, what's Squa? Squa Joe's, uh, Jose Luis Marquez. I don't know, how do we promote it? So we select Only him. Only one recruit from Delta Squad made it back alive from our last mission, Commander. And I'd say a promotion is in order. Okay, well, how do we do that? Uh, abilities? No. To promote, I, uh, the promotion icon next to abilities lets you know that they are eligible for promotion. Select. Okay, so this little badge thing here tells As us you we're know, allowed Commander. to. Commander. Every soldier is different. This particular soldier has shown an aptitude for heavy weapons. As he gains additional combat experience, we should continue his training along these lines. Yeah, let's do it. New training, fire rocket. Okay. This soldier will now carry a rocket launcher in addition to his standard weapon. Ooh. The aliens won't know what hit him. Well, I bet oh, they will. Rocket's Dr. Volland right? has to see you in the research labs, Commander. It sounded important. Commander to the research labs. Well, let's Commander go to the research, to the research labs. Then. All right, let's do this. Hey, how's it going? Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I Farlan. oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. On we have already screens. begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. I see nothing there that looks like science equipment. We will begin research immediately. Look in the background, there's some lockers, there's a couple of workstations, there's no actual stuff going on. Uh, xenobiology, that is the biology of things different. Um, I, I suggest, I, I guess we'll do this? Select weapon fragments or alien materials to begin, okay. Um, weapon fragments, these, uh, so we can... Ooh, I don't know, so we either research weapons or we research... I, I, I should imagine that the alien materials are going to end up being armor. So I'm going to go for weapons, because I reckon if we shoot them fast enough, we don't need to protect ourselves. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. This research will take some time. We will notify you once it is complete. Awesome. Anything else you want me to do? It sounds like you are needed elsewhere. Farewell, Commander. Au revoir. If you recover any additional artifacts during your field operations, I would be quite eager to study them. Okay. Commander to mission control. Mission control. Commander to mission, mission control. The enemy is testing our capabilities, Commander. We've gotten reports of simultaneous attacks in two different countries. We can only respond to one. The country we help will donate more resources to our cause. 
but the panic level of the country we choose not to help will rise. Oh no. It's not an easy decision, Commander. It's not, is it? But it's one you'll have to make. Okay, well, that's what I'm here for. Uh, let's view the abduction sites. Can I save this yet? So, New York or Hong Kong? Oh god, oh, I don't... I don't. Well, Hong Kong wouldn't even let me have the th have their um the base there. I I'm gonna go with Hong Kong though. Yeah, we, I mean, Americans panic. We can two hundred dollars. Understood. The troops are waiting for you in the hangar. Oh yeah. Commander, before deploying our squad, you can choose which soldiers to send out there. I've taken the liberty of calling up our veteran. His combat experience makes him invaluable on the battlefield. This guy here. He's good. Uh, to be honest, I think we're good. Let's just go. We can't. We can't upgrade anything or anything like that. Wow. I, I've got to find the save button next. Got to find the save Strike button one. next. Prepare for landing. All right. Let's do this. Visual contact. Uh, the Sky Ranger has arrived at the mission site. Let's do it. Ugh. We're heading into China for the next operation. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. And with that, I'm hopefully going to find the save button when this lands. So I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this particular tutorial of an adventure. I will see you sometime later this week when I release the second episode of this where we're going to do this particular adventure. I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye! Hold on, Before you move out, let's see what's inside.